Hey, how's it going? This is Justin Gilman, and today I'll be walking through your digital marketing attack plan to show you how you can turn your website into a lead generation machine and really generate some more revenue for your business month over month. Now to do that, we first have to understand how are people finding landscaping businesses in your area? And if you're like me and many others, chances are you go on Google, type in whatever service or industry you're looking for in the upper search bar, along with your city name. And after submitting a search, you're gonna pick from the first few results down below or up here in the Google Map Pack. Now, whichever one you do, it doesn't really matter, but it seems to be a pretty popular option to find services through Google. As you'll notice, there are roughly 400 searches a month for landscaping company in Huntsville, Alabama. And the goal of this video is to show you how you can put your business or your website at the forefront of those searches. That way, 400 people see your business first before looking at your competitors. But in order for that to happen, there's a few different things that we're gonna need to understand first. So first off, we're gonna talk about content because content is really king on Google. So let's take a look at one of your competitor sites, see what they're doing as far as content, and then we'll jump back to your website and compare. So here we are on the ground, guys, that ranks number one, or I should say on the first page for landscaping in the Huntsville, Alabama area. And if we scroll down their website, you're gonna notice that they have a few different paragraphs of content. Um, nothing too crazy, but just a few different paragraphs here and there. And we're gonna to wanna to go bigger and better than these guys when it comes to content. Um, because ultimately Google is looking for websites that promote a positive user experience. And by having more content on your website, you can really give users something to engage with um, and promote that positive user experience that they're looking for. Now, if we took it one step further and examine their content, you'd also notice that they have tons of industry specific keywords and phrases, keywords being the most used words or phrases on a web page. And based on those keywords, we're gonna tell Google vital information about our business, such as what we do, maybe where we operate from, and ultimately who we are as a company. So like I said, very contentful site, but we also want those industry specific keywords to back it. So let's take a look at your website and see if it follows that pattern. So here we are on your website now. And if I scroll down, I notice that you did have some content of your own, but obviously a lot less than your competitor. And we wanna change that because like I said, we wanna go bigger and better than in everything we do. So we're gonna want more content. Normally I like to recommend about 750 to 1000 words of content. Um, and you can feel free to go more than that if you'd like. That's just the bare, mon bare minimum of what I've seen to be a very contentful site. Now, if we take that one step further, like we talked about earlier, we're also gonna want those industry specific keywords like landscaping, Huntsville, essentially anything you want Google to know about our business, we wanna include it in those keywords. Now, if we do both of those things, we should be able to set a really solid foundation for our website. We also have our external side of things, which is going to be our backlinking and our citations. And those are gonna really help our website climb the rankings while our internal side is gonna help set the foundation and determine where we rank. So very important that we have both, but let's go back to your competitor, take a look at their backlink structure and then compare that to yours and see what you've been doing so far. Start taking a look at your competitor now and a tool I have called Ahrefs and you'll see your competitor has 52 backlinks built to their site and ultimately they're generating about 240 users every single month. Now those 240 users are a direct result of the things that they're doing internally, such as content and keywords, as well as the things that they're doing externally with their backlink structure. Now, like I said, the goal of this video is always to go bigger and better than them. So if they have 52 backlinks, we're gonna want upwards of 104 backlinks. I'd even recommend going as far as getting 500 backlinks to really push that margin on top of our content and keywords. And if we do all those things, there's no reason as to why those 240 users shouldn't start to leak over into our website as well. So let's take a look at your website and see what you've been doing as far as backlinking goes. So now we're taking a look at your website and right now you don't have any backlinks built and ultimately you're not generating any organic traffic. And that's really hurting you because ultimately our website is a 24 seven salesperson for us. You know, it makes sales at three in the morning and it makes sales at 10 at night. So we need to give it the resources it needs to really close out those sales at any given time. And those things are gonna be our backlinks, our content, our keywords, essentially everything that we need to make those sales. So Definitely a big part of this, and we want to change this so that we can move in a very positive direction. But there was one more thing that I mentioned in this video, and that was citations. So let's go over to Google Map Pack, talk about citations, and talk about how they tie into everything here. So here we are in Google, and if we scroll down a little bit, we have this Google Map Pack, and this Map Pack is super important because it gives our business a second place that we could be seen online. And ultimately, you know, there's a few different things that the Map Pack looks for when it ranks its companies. Now, one of the most important things is citations. Citations are all the different places your business's name, address, and phone number are going to be listed online. Some popular citations are things like Facebook, Instagram, Yelp, Yellow Pages, Yellow Books, 
All those are different citations you can get for your business, and they all help with the Google Map Pack. Now, I took it upon myself to look through each one of these companies and found that the number one company had 72 citations, followed by 58, and lastly, 36. So if number one has 72 citations, we're going to want 144 citations on top of our backlinks, on top of our content and keywords. And if we do all of that, we should start to see a very positive movement in the amount of traffic our website is generating month over month, but more importantly, the amount of revenue that it's bringing back for us as well. Now, that's all I really have for you in this video, but I will leave you with one last question. And that question is, what could an extra 400 customers a month do for your business? Once again, my name is Justin Gilman. I hope this video is very educational and thank you for watching.